Rectus Marginata, or Geratry, an elegant, tall, and dominant species of several forest communities. A jarra forest will grow despite their roots being blocked with iron stone, the massive ancient rock formed from gravel and iron minerals. Only a jarra tree root can penetrate through this bare rock and mercifully allow other plant species to share the now rich, earthy floor of the forest. The town of Jarradale will perhaps give you an understanding of the jarra tree and what it meant for a newly settled colony in Western Australia. The first settlers arrived in mid-1829. Timber cutting, milling and export became a major industry. Jarradale started clearing in the 1830s when a group of four mills established and operated for it to be WA's first industrial region. By 1880, Jarradale, unbelievably, was the fourth largest population centre in WA, after Perth, Bunbury and Albany. Further north, School children of the Armadale Primary School grew up with a massive King Jarra known locally as the Old Jarra Tree. It now stands proudly in the shopping centre. Although a little worse for wear, it's believed to be healthy. Jarra timber is highly regarded elsewhere around the world as WA mahogany, simply admired for its strength, elegance and lovely coloured red grain. Now, in the modern day, the Jarrah Forest is most valued as a truly beautiful place for recreation, such as hiking, cycling and camping. A place which can provide profound connections between people and nature. It's our duty to protect these remaining forest areas from mining, unsustainable logging and clearing for agriculture. As the ecosystem that this single tree creates is so rare, so precious, and valuable to Western Australia that we do not want to ever see it scarce.